In this lesson, we will discuss laboratory notebooks. In scientific research, a laboratory notebook is an essential tool for recording and documenting your work. It serves as the primary record of your experiments, observations, and analyses. A laboratory notebook serves multiple purposes. It is the repository of all your research-related information, including data, procedures, hypotheses, experimental setup, calculations, analysis, and more. It captures the details of your scientific journey from start to finish. A laboratory notebook serves as tangible proof of the work you have completed. It establishes your ownership of the research and provides evidence of your efforts and contributions. In cases of patent disputes or intellectual property claims, a well-maintained laboratory notebook can be crucial. A laboratory notebook allows you to explain why experiments were initiated, how they were performed, and the results obtained. It captures the context, objectives, and outcomes of each experiment, providing a comprehensive understanding of your research process. This information is invaluable for reproducing your work and verifying your findings. A laboratory notebook also serves scientific posterity for the lab. It contributes to the collective knowledge and legacy of the research conducted in the laboratory. Future researchers can refer to your notebook to understand the methodology, build upon your work, or replicate experiments. A laboratory notebook facilitates collaboration and communication within the lab. It allows fellow researchers to follow your progress, provide feedback, and contribute to ongoing experiments. It promotes transparency, reproducibility, and fosters a collaborative research environment. A well-maintained laboratory notebook serves as a valuable resource when presenting your research. It helps you create posters, presentations, and publications by providing accurate and detailed information about your experiments, results, and conclusions. In summary, a laboratory notebook is an indispensable tool for any researcher. It captures the essence of your scientific journey, serves as proof of your work, and enables replication of experiments, contributes to scientific posterity, facilitates collaboration, and aids in presenting your research to the scientific community. Now that we have covered what a lab notebook is, let's take a moment to understand what it is not. It's important to clarify the misconceptions to maintain the integrity and purpose of your lab notebook. A lab notebook is not a journal for your scientific or personal musings. It should not be used for unrelated thoughts or non-research related content. To avoid this, consider using a template that prompts you to focus on essential research elements. A quick Google search can provide template examples that can get you started. I have provided links to two lab notebook templates in the resources section. Your lab notebook is not the appropriate place to keep a record of conversations or communications you have with your boss or lab mates. Instead, maintain a separate system for communication records, such as email, a designated messaging platform, or a folder in your filing system. I refer you back to our previous lesson for how to develop a filing system. A laboratory notebook is not intended for storing copies of protocols or procedures from commercial product manuals. Those should be kept in your organized file storage system as we discussed in the previous lesson. Your laboratory notebook should focus on documenting your own research and experiments and corresponding protocols that you have developed. Remember, a laboratory notebook has a specific purpose and should be reserved for scientific research documentation. By understanding what a laboratory notebook is not, you can maintain its integrity and ensure that it serves its intended purpose effectively. The cover or initial page of your lab notebook serves as the introduction and provides essential information about your research project. For a physical lab notebook, 
the front cover should have information that can easily identify what the notebook is, labeled as laboratory notebook, what it contains, write the research project name, and who it belongs to, researcher name, as well as what time period it covers. Remember, research typically spans multiple years and you will have many experiments. It is not uncommon for a researcher to have numerous lab notebooks for one research project. Putting start and end dates provides chronology for your records. If you are using an electronic lab notebook, the dates are less important. You don't have the page limitation that you do with a physical book, so your lab notebook may be one large file. But putting the dates in the file name can't hurt. For a physical lab notebook, the inside cover should include the researcher contact information and laboratory address. For an electronic notebook, ensure that the laboratory notebook is backed up to a cloud storage service regularly. If possible, have this done automatically so you don't forget. For a physical laboratory notebook, it must be hard bound. It cannot be spiral bound or loose leaf in a binder. The reason behind this is that it needs to be evident if any pages have been removed. This is an official record of your experiments, so removing pages is not allowed. For an electronic notebook, there are electronic records of deletions embedded in the software, but the rule still remains. Do not delete any files or pages within an electronic notebook. The core of your lab notebook consists of detailed records of your experiments. It documents the entire process from planning to conclusion. The example on the right is of an electronic notebook page taken from Microsoft OneNote. The resources section of this lesson provides more detail on how this researcher developed her lab notebook in Microsoft OneNote. Some of the content that should be in your lab notebook is Dates and titles of experiments. Background information. Hypothesis, goals, or specific aims. Objectives, or purpose of experiment. Plan, outline, or flow diagram. Protocols, calculations, reagents, equipment used during experiments. Be sure to be specific. Supplementary information including citations, observations, whether they're planned or unplanned, raw data, permanently affixed information with reference to data location, data analysis, units, and conclusions. In addition to experimental records, there are a few other elements that can enhance the comprehensiveness of your lab notebook diagrams, graphs, or figures, such as from process data, images or photographs, this could be of samples pre- and post-experimentation, sample preparation, troubleshooting notes, modifications to protocols. You can see in the example on the right that some of the notes and modifications added were done using a stylus and handwritten on top of the typed original protocol, collaborator contributions, and future experiment ideas. When it comes to electronic notebooks, you have several options to choose from, each with its own advantages and considerations. Ultimately, your choice should be based on your working style and personal preferences. Here, are some examples of tools that can be used as electronic laboratory notebooks. Google Docs. They offer a clean and simple interface for note-taking and documentation. They're integrated with Google Tools, facilitating seamless collaboration and sharing. OneNote, popular note-taking software that can also serve as an electronic lab notebook familiar interface for users already accustomed to these tools, and ensures consistency across both class and lab notebooks. Evernote can also serve this purpose. 
ELN by SciNote, specifically designed for scientific research and complex data management, provides features tailored to the needs of biomedical and medical researchers. The Remarkable Tablet combines the flexibility of an electronic notebook with the tactile experience of pen and paper. It's ideal for individuals who prefer a more traditional note-taking approach. Please note that this option involves a cost of approximately $300 with an additional subscription for fees for certain services. However, these are not essential for using the device or its major features. I personally use the Remarkable Tablet for my own research and general note-taking. And finally, Notion, a versatile software that allows users to create customizable lab notebooks, provides the flexibility to design and modify templates according to individual preferences, and Notion also offers features like task management, to-do lists, reminders, and integration with apps like Google Calendar through platforms like Zapier. While I haven't used Notion for laboratory research yet, I have found robust templates that are helpful for beginners in developing a lab notebook. Notion's features extend beyond the lab notebook, making it suitable for various aspects of research management and planning. If you're already using Notion for other academic purposes, it might be the right choice for you. The key is to find an electronic notebook that aligns with your thinking and working style. Consider factors such as cost, tactile feedback, familiarity with software, simplicity, and specialized features for your research field. Whichever option you choose, strive for consistency in your approach and consider using templates, whether pre-made or self-created, to streamline your lab notebook organization. To wrap things up, I'm going to leave you with some final tips on how to effectively and ethically maintain your laboratory notebook. Be honest. Record your observations, data, and results accurately and truthfully. Avoid altering or deleting information to fit desired outcomes. Honesty in your lab notebook ensures integrity in your research. Don't delete or remove. Resist the temptation to delete or remove entries, even if they contain mistakes or errors. Instead, cross out or strike through incorrect information while keeping it legible. Maintaining a record of mistakes provides valuable insights and can aid in troubleshooting. Use permanent ink when writing in a physical notebook or a program with version control when using an electronic notebook. When making corrections or modifications in an electronic lab notebook, you can use comment features or handwriting using a stylus if that option is available. Communicate with your team and seek guidance and feedback. Share relevant information from your lab notebook with your research team. Collaborate effectively by providing clear and concise documentation of procedures, results, and findings. Communication promotes transparency and facilitates knowledge sharing. Consult with your supervisor or mentors regarding best practices for your lab notebook organization. Seek feedback on your entries to improve clarity and completeness. Learning from experienced researchers can enhance the quality of your lab notebook. Backup and secure your data. Implement a backup system to safeguard your lab notebook against data loss. Consider storing electronic notebooks on secure cloud platforms or regularly creating physical backups. Protect sensitive data with appropriate security measures to maintain confidentiality. Maintain organization. Use a clear and consistent structure for your lab notebook, including dates, titles, and section headings. Keep a table of contents or index to easily navigate through your notebook. Organize supporting materials such as protocols and data files in a logical and accessible manner. Regularly review and update. Set aside time to review and update your lab notebook regularly. Ensure that all entries are complete, clear, and up to date. Regular review helps you stay on top of your research progress and prevents missing important details. Your lab notebook is a vital tool for recording and documenting your research. 
Following these tips will help ensure accuracy, organization, and integrity in your scientific work.